Why, hello there, I'm Professor Joel, and welcome to another episode of Plant Scooby Reviews. Today we are covering Basketball Bumblers, which originally aired on October 9th, 1982, and it is the second part of the third episode of the Scooby-Doo Scrappy-Doo Puppy Hour. And in this episode, we see our trio, which are Scooby, Scrappy, and Shaggy, playing some basketball. And it's up to the Shaggy Sheiks to defeat the Slam Dunkers. Unfortunately, the Slam Dunkers have some tricks up their shoes. Anyway, enough of my jibber jabber. Let's get on with the review. The episode begins with a gang at the team center for a local basketball tournament. Shaggy's teammates are worried that the Slam Dunkers are one of the toughest teams around. Scrappy's not worried though, and Shaggy seems to be cracking slightly under the pressure. We also learn that the Slam Dunkers have some electronic sneakers that allow them to cheat. The sneakers are controlled by a teammate in a basement through a video game platform. Gee Shaggy, are you sure we can beat them? I hear the Slam Dunkers are the roughest team around. Look at those pipsqueaks. With Big Ed in the basement controlling our electronic sneakers, we can't lose. Now to activate my remote control video game. Boy, are those twits in for a surprise. Jackie has got the ball for the sheep. So, you think you can score a basket, shrimp? Well, you don't stand a chance against my video basketball game. During halftime, after getting clobbered by the Slam Dunkers due to their cheating, Scooby learns that the Slam Dunkers are wearing electronic sneakers, so he tells Shaggy and Scrappy, who all go to the basement to investigate. Hey! with my electronic sneakers. Better go down to the basement and get another pair from Big Ed. Those cheaters got electronic sneakers? 33 to nothing. Thanks to my remote-controlled basketball game, we're really creaming those claws. So that's how they do it. We gotta get that machine, because the second half has already started. Dressing up as janitors, the gang steal the sneaker control panel and bust it in half. The cheater can still control the slam dunkers, though, through his half. So Scrappy swipes the other half and some sneakers to control Shaggy's team. In the end, the Shaggy Sheiks win, and the Slam Dunkers get a mini lecture from Scrappy on how you should never cheat. Cheaters never prosper. I give this episode a 4 <laughs> out of 10. At first I was like, ugh, not another non-spooky Scooby-Doo episode, but these are starting to win me over a bit. I see the 80s kind of charm to them, how they're just kind of fun, and the 80s were fun. I guess, and the electronic sneakers made it fun. It kind of reminded me of those like 80s comedies, like Revenge of the Nerds, where they use technology and do things and have crazy fun adventures. Kind of reminded me of that. So four out of 10. And the episode did have a bit of mystery to it. And while it had a lot of comedy, the gang at least used their detective skills to figure out what was going on. And then they used their resources to win. Anyway, that is enough out of me for this week. Join me next week when I will be covering Super Teen Shaggy. And until then, stay spooky.